appointment of former, uh, principal secretaries is a process that starts by applications being sought by the Public Service Commission. Once the Public Service Commission interviews these people, the names are forwarded to the president, and the president nominates. There is no statutory requirement for the numbers. The president, in his wisdom, has nominated 51 Kenyans for that, those positions. The law and the constitution provides that they should be taken to parliament for vetting. The rationale for parliament to vet is, is based on the point that those are the people's representatives in parliament. From previous record of the CSS, we, we completely, as Kenyans, saw that there was no vetting. It became, parliament became a conveyor belt. All the names that went to parliament for CSS passed through. This is the second list going to parliament. And we have been instructed that because Kenyans have no faith in parliament, because president controls the tyranny of numbers in parliament, we move to the judiciary so that we challenge and stop the names from being dealt with in parliament. And that is why we have gone to court to challenge those names because they do not meet the constitutional threshold that is required for those positions. What are these constitutional thresholds? The face of the republic, ethnicity based on the face of the republic is purely the angle that there are 44 tribes in this country. President has created 51 positions for principal secretaries. Therefore, it is prudent that each tribe, each tribe, the 44 tribes get one. Each tribe gets one, the president remains with seven more. He can allocate it to other people because other tribes, this is the only chance they have to fill the national cake. The question we are asking is the core of our ethnic communities not having sufficient professionals to get those positions. That is why we have been instructed to challenge this and we have demanded from the Public Service Commission and the National Cohesion Commission the ethnic question of the people who have been appointed. So we are raising very fundamental questions that there is no ethnic balance in the nomin nominees. Number two, there is no gender balance in those nominations. Three, there is no inclusivity, and especially from the county of Nyamira, where I come from. Nobody is there. What Kenyans want is that the president go to vote the whole country. He had members, he had people campaigned for him from Wajir. Let them be appointed principal secretaries. He had people campaigned for him from Yamira County. Let them be given those positions. Unless, so we are seeking orders to stop the names from going to parliament until the question of inclusivity is dealt out with it. The reason as to why the president raised the number of these positions from Uhuru Kenyatta's 41 to 51, under the bottom approach, we thought that it is to include at least every tribe in the decision-making position. So we are appealing that we are ready to defend this thing in the judiciary and president be put on notice that he is no longer the president of the select few, is a national president, is a national government, and elections are over. Let every Kenyan feel inclusive in this government.